game will face the number one seed, Penn State. Yeah, we're gearing up here for a great afternoon of lacrosse. You know, Ohio State coming in, looking for a gain, a little bit of revenge against Michigan from last week. Shape it up to be a good afternoon. Johns Hopkins, your two seed. They'll face the winner of Maryland and Rutgers. Michigan in the white uniforms, the Buckeyes in the scarlet tops, the gray shorts. Let's get right to the keys to the game. I mean, if you're looking at Michigan right now, you want to control the cage. they got to value the ball. I mean, they have such an advantage, such kings of the face-off right there. And, you know, if you're Ohio State, you got to stop the face-off. So you got to push to 50-50 opportunities. And once you get those opportunities, you got to find the back of the cage. All right, those are the keys. It's the second consecutive year that these two teams have met in back-to-back -back weeks. Last year it was in Columbus. Ohio State won that game. And then the next week it was in Columbus. And Ohio State also won that game. This year, Michigan coming off a 19-14 win. And by virtue of that win, gets the higher seed. And they bring the Buckeyes back to Ann Arbor, or as they call it, that team up north. Alongside Taylor Thornton, a four-time All-American and two-time national champion at Northwestern, I'm Dean Linke. Delighted to be with you. you on Big Ten Plus. It's our second call of the day as the Michigan women getting the win over Penn State. That one was at noon. And now we bring you the men's game. And during the women's game, we gave the weather report and they mentioned rain. It never did rain. It started to look dark. We thought maybe we'd see some rain in this game. We still may, but right now it's still pretty good conditions. It is. You know, if you're Ohio State on that first faceoff right there, that's exactly what you wanted. They tried to push to the 50-50, but unfortunately Michigan had it going the other way. Finds the back of the cage pretty quick. All right, so Michigan on top, 1-0. And that's how quick Michigan can pounce right there. Well done for the Michigan Wolverines as they are off and rolling as Michigan getting the goal there from Josh Zawada. The all time points leader for the Michigan Wolverines. Yeah, he's just been fantastic all season. Just such a great point spot shooter. Nice little hop step there, get in the back of the cage. So, Michigan led by Kevin Conry, who played at Johns Hopkins, came over from Maryland, where he was part of the national championship team, getting the Michigan program rolling. Kevin Connery, the top man for the Michigan Wolverines. Meanwhile, for the Buckeyes, it's Nick Myers in his 15th year. He played there as well. He's been involved with USA Lacrosse for a long time, as well both these coaches have. It's 1-0 Michigan. We're 19 in the country. Michigan actually in their own game notes, listed as number 14 in the country, as they'll spin around the cage. This matchup here between Zawada and Bobby Van Buren will be a good one to watch. Yeah, interesting. Ohio State's coming out, playing that nice tight man on man. Really just trying to be marking up one on one. It's tough to do. Trying to do a little bit of lockdown D. Good pass and fired in there, deflected. Ground ball picked back up by the Buckeyes. So the Buckeyes going the other way. Great and transition there by Ohio State. What a finish from Jack Myers. Good call, Taylor. How quick do they get up and down? Right, that's what they want. You gotta push it out of transition. I mean, just to have your head up right there, use that speed, find the open man. Right here, you can see just getting that ground ball, it's just starting to push. You know, you have the man up opportunity, you have numbers, make the defender slide to you. Give it to your Jack Myers. He has that big size, really good release, quick whip. Great finish. So Zawada for Michigan, and then Myers, who leads the team with 14 points, 19 goals, 
21 assists. Good balance for Jack Myers, both with the feed and with the finish. And now Ohio State off the faceoff. They'll send it back to Skylar Walland, who's played in 13 games. Peyton Johnson has played just 21 minutes, and it's pretty much been the Skylar Wallen story in the cage for the Buckeyes. I mean, again, if you're the Buckeyes, I mean, I'm going to be calling this pretty much all afternoon. I mean, having these quick two face-off opportunities, you know, really executing their keys right out the gate. Here come the Buckeyes. Denied by Carr and denied again. Two outstanding saves for Michigan. Back-to-back -back point blank range. <laughs> Three right there. You can see him getting fired up. They tried again a little bit of a pickup around the crease, but he was ready. So a really good start for Carr. But Michigan remains on defense. I'm liking this high pressure right now. Michigan's throwing out, really getting into hands, trying to push out wide, giving the shot your goalie wants. Right side. One, one. The winner will face Penn State. And picked up by Carr. So Carr does his job wearing that number 41 jersey. As you mentioned, not two, but actually three solid saves in that sequence defensively for the netminder for Michigan. Yeah, it was a good D set by Michigan right there. Really staying together, really locking in on their matchups. Ball hits the ground, pushing it in transition, getting it the other way. Shane Carr, the goalie junior from Maryland. Again, Michigan coming in, you know, having those three top attackers right there. What Boom, a finding finish. him down on the crease, just setting up all day. Bryce Clay, you talk about a quick release off of that pass. I mean, he basically was pushing it in with the pass, and it's 2-1. I mean, Clay was setting up shop down there. I mean, I barely even saw him, but able to have that quick release cross, finding him down low of the crease, having that head up, draw the defense to you. He's just waiting there, hello. Good finish. Nice lefty quick release. Michigan is five and three, or Ohio State rather, is three and five all time in the Big Ten tournament, which started in 2015. Ohio State and Michigan meet for the third straight season in the Big Ten quarterfinals. The teams are one and one against each other in the tournament. This marks the first tournament meeting between the teams in Ann Arbor. So that's how big that win was a week ago right here at Michigan's beautiful lacrosse stadium. Ohio State's beautiful lacrosse stadium will be the home for the women's semifinals on Thursday and Saturday. Burning around the cage are the Buckeyes right now. That's number 10, Ed Sheen. I like both sides right now. They're playing with a really high sense of urgency, moving the ball well, nice quick passes inside, a little bit missed there, but you can tell there's a heightened sense of urgency from both teams. Ohio State. Keeping possession behind the cage. See the long pole defensively for Michigan. 19, Andrew Darby. He's doing a good job containing him right there. Keeping him outside, not really giving him anything. Tight pass, good spot. And missing with the tight shot right there, Caputo, the freshman out of Westbury. Yeah, that was a nice flash cut from down low. Nice quick release. Just couldn't find the back there. Ohio State with five shots already. Picked it up and sizzled home. This time, Caputo says, I'll take it. You know, it also gives some credit to Mitchell Pelkey right there. He was dancing on the other side, really good footwork, breaking down, really drawing attention on the defensive side, able to pass it off, finding Caputo right there. Good finish. There's Coach Myers. Take a look you at this. You see there, he's going right under. Good handle, way to handle the pressure. Nice scoop up, spot, shoot. They're going to give you a lane like that. Rip it all day long. Yeah, we need radar on some of those shots. I mean, there, there's some heat coming in there. Yeah, they got some sauce on them, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio 
Yeah. All right, Ohio State wins the faceoff. <laughs> another another faceoff. Four out of five faceoffs won by the Buckeyes. Not what I would expect coming into this game. So good start for the Buckeyes. Because of that, we have not even said the name of Bame, who's coming off a career high at eight goals in that win over the Buckeyes a week ago. Shot backed up by Ohio State. Yeah, we'll be here, and I'm still plenty of time. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. We definitely will. <laughs> Right now, the Ohio State keeping possession. Hitting their keys, good drives. They're just doing a really good job of activating from all spots on their in offensive zone, Ohio State. Every time anyone touches the ball, they're absolute threat, and that's what you want. You've got to command respect from your defender. And they're moving the ball quickly, kind of finding that open man. That was Kyle Borda a moment ago with the shot. Circling, what a finish right there. Jack Myers, the big time senior from Washington, D.C., with the finish, gives Ohio State the 3 2 lead. Yeah, excellent finish by Myers there. Really textbook, just in terms of starting at X, using his footwork, kind of trapping his defender behind the cage. You can see right here, starts to engage, quick footwork, rolls back inside, catches him behind, roll back, step shoot. Good finish again. Nice little hop step there. Goals number 19 and 20 on the season. Just worth mentioning for any of you newbies, and I doubt there are following this great game. Nick Myers, no relation to Jack Myers. Nick Myers, the head coach. But because of the amazing career of Jack Myers, as well as their head coach, Nick Myers, when you call an Ohio State game, you say Myers a lot. You <laughs> will. We'll be seeing more of them tonight. Almost halfway through the first here. Michigan did it, what they needed to do. Won the faceoff. So now they've won two. Ohio State's won four. Ohio State already with nine shots. Michigan with three. And there is Bain knocked down. And there's Van Buren. And it was that matchup we were looking forward to. It might have been Zawada who was knocked down. But Van Buren, part of three African-American defenders back there, something that Coach Myers was really proud to talk about uh, in the call. Yeah, you love to see it. I mean, just speaks to the growth of the game, really making diversity a priority, amazing young athletes, and just truly building out the program for years to continue. So here's Ohio State trying to add to their 3-2 lead. A lot of contact. Ed Sheen, pretty good on the dodge. Bounces it through. It's going to roll all the way through and go out of bounds. As they're looking to find Allen number three and said it's a turnover, kind of an unforced turnover. It'll come back to Michigan and the long pole of Jack Whitney will start the clear. Yeah, a little bit of a force there, but you know, giving Michigan now an opportunity, use their speed, get it back the other way. You know, both teams are really playing this high pressure, man on man defense, you know, really making them work on both ends. I think that gives you the opportunity to give it in the hands and sticks of your best attacker is really using your speed. Speed is going to kill right here. Get in the cage. See Ryan Cohen coming into the game after He's Michigan right with the successful clear. Boy, Bryce Clay was wide open on the near post. Zawada perhaps didn't see him. They've got the pick behind the cage. Michigan taking their time. You know, there he is. Deflected. It'll go out of bounds as a good pass. Ryan Cohen, yep, there he is. See defensively for the Buckeyes, that's Marcus Hudgens. Michigan, smoke right there. Good finish for the Wolverines. That one scored by Isaac Aronson, the junior from Potomac, Maryland. A good job by... Number 22, you know, he's able to really come behind that cage. See, hey, I could take my man one-on-one. -on -one. Nice little restart here, pick, able to get that inside left shoulder in, turn, use his core, grip on that right side. But really getting that inside shoulder, keep your momentum going, good finish. 
Ninth goal of the season for Aronson. Ties it at three. Ground ball picked up off the face off by Ohio State. Ohio State running downhill. They'll set their offense up. Shot. And denied there. Carr either or perhaps the pipe right there. I'm not sure, Taylor. You have better eyes than me. What do you think? I'll give it to both of them. Okay. <laughs> I'll split hairs. <clears throat> Five minutes remaining. Ohio State already with double digit shots. Michigan with five shots. Three of them have found the back of the cage. We're tied at three. You know, really good possessions here by both sides. I think Michigan knows they can move the ball quickly, getting everybody involved. They're able to find those spots. Like once the ball gets hot, you hit, set your kind of point spot shooter up top. They've had some really nice wide openings and just taking people 1v1 as well. Trying to scoop around behind the cage was Michigan. The effort sprawled out there. Van Buren was hoping to get the call with the long pole. Instead, it'll stay with Zawada and Michigan. Tied at three. <laughs> Good effort both ways. I don't think I've seen that before. Just both <laughs> diving and jumping in there. Sprawled out. Here comes a big crank. Wow, a scissor. I mean, absolute smoke right there for Michigan as that comes from Jacob Jackson wearing number 15. Like I said, when Michigan gets the ball hot and then just finding that open man up top, they can rip. They have really good, precise shooters. I mean, he's there all day, post up, step, shoot. Really well done. About that fair play from Wallen, kind of basically telling Give the nod to 15, like a good shot. I don't know if I've seen that that much, but. <laughs> respect. Yeah. yeah. Respect it. Right? Off the face off. A whistle and. Michigan goal. It's gonna take the Buckeyes here. Buckeyes will keep it. That's Jackson's first goal of the game. Wait to be at the Michigan Lacrosse Stadium. Second game of the day, as I mentioned, the Michigan women and their four-time national champ Anna Nielsen during her days at Northwestern advancing to face her alma mater on Thursday on the Big Ten Network. There's a shot looping around the cage, backed up by the Buckeyes. Bringing it back on. Ohio State just looking to kind of set something up here. Nice pick down low. Kick it up top. Keep the ball hot. We want it to stall. Shaq Myers giving it to Caputo. Caputo has one of the three goals for Ohio State. He fakes going behind the back, and Carr reads that one low. That was a great fake. He got his defender on that one. He looked the other way, thinking that he had passed it. So, excellent shot there. Just didn't finish. Fourth save of the game for Carr. Meanwhile, Wallen has yet to make a save for the Buckeyes. This first quarter's flying along. It has. Like, both teams have brought a very good amount of energy and effort. Just really came in out, like, just on fire from the jump. You can feel it. You can sense it. You know, both teams are really hungry. Cohen. Cohen will set a high screen. As that's... Bain coming off that career high eight goals against this Ohio State team just one week ago right here at Michigan Lacrosse Stadium behind the cage Michigan up one trying to make it two with 222 remaining in the first giving it up there is Aronson he's going to set a screen Ohio State's doing a great this is a good D set by Ohio State really forcing them out not giving them much Wow, good pass, though, just as you say that, and they find Bain. So Bain coming off that eight a week ago, gets one, and it's 5-3 Michigan as Michael Bain. You said we'd be saying his name. He I found did. a spot right in front of the crease. He did. It's only a matter of time. He's just so quick and crafty, especially in the eight, and able to have such a good handle inside and handle that pressure. You know, you know, still hats off to the Buckeyes. I think that was a good set. They were hanging tough, but again, Michigan is so good at finding each other and threading the needle right there. Good finish. Bain, along with Wheatfelt and Zawada, all first team, all Big Ten. The Buckeyes have two players on second team and Jack Myers and Bobby Van Buren. So 
now the faceoff starting to get more balanced. Six for the Buckeyes, three for Michigan. Yeah, good quarter so far. Even though you know I don't think the faceoffs have been going their way. They've gotten a few on the back end right here. You know they're fine in the back of the net. They're high percentage shots, which is what you want. Number five, Shoot Bain. really well. One set that stands out is the Buckeyes have three turnovers. Two of them caused by Michigan, and Michigan's got a two-goal lead. So turnovers could play a big role. If it doesn't get determined from the face-off X, turnovers will be key. There's Zawada with a good pass, trying to find Clay. Clay was going to turn and shoot, lost the ball for a moment. Had the composure, the presence to pick it back up. Now on it is Mulholland. He'll give it up. Oh, wow, what a great finish. The ability to stay with it right there by Peter Thompson with players hanging on him, and then a fantastic finish, and the fans are loving it here. Wolverine style at 6-3 Michigan. Yeah, that was a really pretty goal. Good set by Michigan right there. Again, just when they get their feet going, that speed, it's pretty unstoppable, but that's your strength and power right there. Get, being able to still dip in there, tuck under, still have a quick whip release. Well done by Thompson. 13th of the season for number 29, Peter Thompson. Thompson, a grad student from Ann Arbor, Michigan, spent some time at Georgetown before returning to his hometown to play for the Michigan Wolverines. And looks like with limited time remaining, there's going to be a timeout called, I think, by Ohio State. Not sure. Did, did Michigan have the ball? Yeah, I was on Michigan. Okay, so Michigan's timeout then. My bad, Taylor. We talked about weather earlier, and boy, 61 degrees, like really pleasant. And then now just a 20% chance of rain. We started was 40%. Yeah, we were a bit nervous there, but it looks like ideal conditions. Great crowd here this afternoon. You know, awesome to have both your women and men's playing on the same day. Get the folks in the town involved. The whole school's coming in, and really great to see. You said it. that is a really nice crowd. You do see a little bit of scarlet and gray, but mostly <laughs> maize and blue as Coach Myers talking it over. A lot of work he did behind the scenes to help create that amazing stadium. And then, of course, a few years ago, they added Amy Bacher on the women's side. But really, Coach Myers truly getting that train rolling to have their own lacrosse stadium. It's right next to the Tucker Tennis Center and then the Cavelli Center where they have wrestling and gymnastics and other sports sitting right in between them. Ohio State, you know, we talked about uh, in that first game, Michigan has a stadium for every team, and so do the Buckeyes. Right, I mean, talk about it, like to be a student athlete at Ohio State, <laughs> what a treat, what a dream. But I mean, he has such pride for the program and, you know, has really done a fantastic job with these young men. State, by the way, is the only Big Ten team to record a man down goal this season. Myers recorded the goal for Ohio State in last weekend's matchup against Michigan. For the Buckeyes, Ed Sheen continues to lead the country in shot percentage as his 27 goals have come on 45 shots in 13 games. That's a pretty good percentage. That's why they call him Steady Eddie. <laughs> Steady Eddie down low. You know so that was Eden Mahollin. Coming on for Michigan, we saw a moment ago, number 27. So off this timeout, we'll see what Michigan can do. Clearly, I think two things were discussed, Taylor. You tell me if I'm wrong on here, but one is understanding the amount of time on the clock and then the play that they want to run. For sure, and I think they've done just a great job. You started a little slow off the faceoff, but really got the momentum shift towards the back end of the first quarter here, finding the back of the net, shooting really well. And, you know, off the timeout, you know, 30 seconds left. They have the play they want. Whose hands do you want to get it in? Where do you want to shoot? Just let it rip. Yeah, and you said it, shooting really well. Six for nine mm -hmm. on shots, phenomenal. I'm gonna try to make it seven for 10. Zawada. And that's not exactly how they drew it up. Stays low. Can't tell if that actually hit a Michigan player, but that'll be 
the final shot of the first half. Michigan trailed for a little bit, but has come back hot through one quarter of the Big Ten quarterfinals in Ann Arbor. The Michigan Wolverines bouncing back as Ohio State was hot early, but it's been mostly Michigan here in the first. Your score through one, Michigan six, Ohio State three, the quarterfinals on the plus. Michigan 6-3 in the Big Ten men's lacrosse quarter final. They've had six different goal scorers. That's what we want to see in a game like this, Dean. I mean, getting the stick, top attackers, but everybody's getting involved. People got to step up right here, just being able to find nice low crease, good finish in the back, really able to dodge, really able to get those inside shoulders in and having an excellent job finishing and finding the back of the net. And again, but their spot shooting has just been like lasers, really sharp, really on point and efficient finding each other, handling the ball really well, attacking into the pressure, not giving up, fighting through double teams. It's been money all afternoon so far. Yeah, Wallen has not been able to make a save. That is how accurate Michigan has been, and then they win the faceoff. So Michigan now has won five of 11. Early on, it was all Buckeyes. As we're at the University of Michigan Lacrosse Stadium, one of the best in the country, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Dean Linke delighted to be joined by two-time national champion for the Northwestern women's lacrosse team, four-time All-American Taylor Thornton. Taylor will be with me in Columbus, Ohio for primetime semifinals on Thursday for the women and Saturday for the championship game. Joe and Mark will bring you home for the men's lacrosse semifinals and finals on the Big Ten Network. Michigan trying to add on here. They're doing a really good job handling the pressure. I mean, I think they're fighting pressure with pressure right now. They're so quick, they're really speedy. Dodging hard into it, kicking it, just keeping that ball so hot and able to find some really nice shots. Stays with the Wolverines right here. Isaac Garrison diving for the backstop, and he'll get it. This is Aronson. Aronson all by himself, and oh, I think it was knocked in in the air by Bryce Clay. We got to take another look at that, but I think Bryce Clay, like an ice hockey goal right there, right in front of the cage. He was ready for it. He was ready for that kind of little garbage pickup there, put it back in. Good awareness right around the crease. And that's where he was down low last time. But again, right here, you can see there's an X little roll dot underneath. Good save, though, on Buckeyes. But again, plays right there, pick it up, dumps it in. Good little kick save, but he was just ready. <laughs> Reaction time there. Kind of caught it, Taylor. Scooped and then, it up. And yeah, he caught it. that scoop little bounce. Pushed it in there. So Kevin Conry's team, assisted by Jim Rogrowski, Scott Vita, Mark Vita. Justin Whitefield doing a great job, as he always does in the face-off, getting those back past two possessions. It's 
seven three. Michigan riding that momentum, scoring and then winning from the faceoff. They're dead even now, six six. Go oh, finding their rhythm a little bit there. Peter Thompson. See the faceoff situation, dead even. As they get it over to Jackson. Behind the cage, looking to feed. Fakes to Zawada. Ground ball picked up by Michigan, and I think the shot clock will reset. That definitely was on cage. Yeah, they were trying to work a little two-man play back there. Roll off, kick it outside. Turn over there. Throwing it away was Peter Thompson. We'll give it back to Skylar Walland, the goalie for the Buckeyes. Long pole, Marcus Hudgens. Both teams perfect on the clear. The Buckeyes five for five, Michigan four for four. In fact, really just through the pace of the game, they've made the clears look pretty easy. They have. That was a really good aware of being able to see upfield by Ohio State. That was a nice long pass. At first they had numbers, but you know, pulled it out, letting people get set up a little bit. Wolverine still with this high pressure man on Mandy. Red all the way by Carr. He saw that from a mile away. <laughs> He's got five saves already. Yeah, he read that really well. So a good start in the cage for Carr. Not so great for Wallen, who has had trouble dealing with the multitude of shots by different players. So different looks, right? Coming at him, and they're all finding the back of the cage. Wallen will take this as he did not have to defend shot so the Buckeyes will go the other way yeah the Wolverines have just been with the ball so set that definitely was on cage yeah they were trying Michigan 6-3 in the Big Ten men's lacrosse quarter final. They've had six different goal scorers. That's what we want to see in a game like this, Dean. I mean, getting the stick, top attackers, but everybody's getting involved. People got to step up right here, just being able to find nice low crease, good finish in the back, really able to dodge, really able to get those inside shoulders in and having an excellent job finishing and finding the back of the net. And again, but their spot shooting has just been like lasers, really sharp, really on point and efficient finding each other, handling the ball really well, attacking into the pressure, not giving up, fighting through double teams. It's been money all afternoon so far. Yeah, Wallen has not been able to make a save. That is how accurate Michigan has been, and then they win the faceoff. So Michigan now has won five of 11. Early on, it was all Buckeyes. As we're at the University of Michigan Lacrosse Stadium, one of the best in the country, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Dean Linke delighted to be joined by two-time national champion for the Northwestern women's lacrosse team, four-time All-American Taylor Thornton. Taylor will be with me in Columbus, Ohio for primetime semifinals on Thursday for the women and Saturday for the championship game. Joe and Mark will bring you home for the men's lacrosse semifinals and finals on the Big Ten Network. Michigan trying to add on here. They're doing a really good job handling the pressure. I mean, I think they're fighting pressure with pressure right now. They're so quick, they're really speedy. 
dodging hard into it, kicking it, just keeping that ball so hot and able to find some really nice shots. Stays with the Wolverines right here. Isaac Aronson diving for the backstop, and he'll get it. This is Aronson. Aronson all by himself, and oh, I think it was knocked in in the air by Bryce Clay. We got to take another look at that, but I think Bryce Clay, like an ice hockey goal right there, right in front of the cage. He was ready for it. He was ready for that kind of little garbage pickup there, put it back in. Good awareness right around the crease. And that's where he was down low last time. But again, right here, you can see there's an X little roll dot underneath. Good save, though, on Buckeyes. But again, plays right there, pick it up, dumps it in. Good little kick save, but he was just ready. <laughs> Reaction time there. Kind of caught it, Taylor. Scooped and then, it up. And yeah, he caught it. that scoop little bounce. Pushed it in there. So Kevin Conry's team, assisted by Jim Rogrowski, Scott Vita, Mark Vita. Justin Whitefield doing a great job, as he always does in the face-off, getting those back past two possessions. It's 7-3. Michigan riding that momentum, scoring and then winning from the face-off. They're dead even now, 6-6. Six, six. There you go, finding their rhythm a little bit there. Peter Thompson. See the face-off situation, dead even. As they get it over to Jackson. Behind the cage, looking to feed. Fakes to Zawada. Ground ball picked up by Michigan, and I think the shot clock will reset. That definitely was on cage. Yeah, they were trying to work a little two-man play back there. Roll off, kick it outside. Turn over there. Throwing it away was Peter Thompson. We'll give it back to Skylar Walland, the goalie for the Buckeyes. Long pole, Marcus Hudgens. Both teams perfect on the clear. The Buckeyes five for five, Michigan four for four. In fact, really just through the pace of the game, they've made the clears look pretty easy. They have, that was a really good aware of being able to see upfield by Ohio State. That was a nice long pass. At first they had numbers, but you know, pulled it out, letting people get set up a little bit. Wolverine still with this high pressure man on man D. Red all the way by Carr. He saw that from a mile away. <laughs> He's got five saves already. Yeah, he read that really well. So a good start in the cage for Carr. Not so great for Wallen, who has had trouble dealing with the multitude of shots by different players. So different looks, right? Coming at him, and they're all finding the back of the cage. Wallen will take this as he did not have to defend a shot. So the Buckeyes will go the other way. Yeah, the Wolverines have just been moving the ball so well, and it's tough when you have to shift that quickly as a defender. At the same time, I mean, right now he's kind of just getting point blank one-on-one -on -one shots, and Michigan's so precise with where they can place the ball as well and how much power they get behind it. It's been pretty tough to stop. So Carr with five saves already, wearing that 41 jersey, coming off a season ago where he had 179. His five now give him 81 saves on the season as Michigan has moved Carr around a little bit. He hasn't played every single minute after a season a year ago where he played 822 minutes to get those 179 saves and have a save percentage of almost 54%. He's certainly looking like that goalie that we saw a year ago, at least in this game, through the first quarter and five minutes of the second. Yeah, has he just gotten better throughout the season? You know, that's what you want at your goal. You might start a little bit slow and trying to find your rhythm, but again, in postseason play, that's when you need to be playing your best, and he has. He's really stepped up. So we've got a flag. They'll play on for the moment. Effort play from the Buckeyes. Buckeyes able to keep it on their end. Haven't really gotten a clean shot lately. All right, so now. Got the hold there. So they'll pick the flag back up. Oh, 
Guys will reset, stay on their end. There's Coach Myers for the Buckeyes who have the ball here. Building man up. Penalty ball they can take advantage. Nine. No, Carr just the old expression looking like a watermelon. Six saves <laughs> already in the game. Phenomenal start. An absolute anchor for his defensive unit right now. They're giving him the shots he wants. They've done a good job. I've been saying it probably since the first quarter. Just really high pressure, forcing outside. That's the shots you want as a goalie. Get him that lane. Give the boss an opportunity to make a save. Michigan with 14 shots, eight on cage, seven in the back of the cage, really shooting well. They have seven goals already, looking for eight. They're 5-0 and oh when they score 15. And obviously you do the math, 15's looking pretty good. And they've got eight already. How about that one? Through traffic, finding the back of the cage from distance right there for the Michigan Wolverines. I believe it's Ryan Cohen. I mean, I don't know if Michigan was doing some shooting drills to step and shoot, but I mean, if they were, it is paying off. It's really pretty to watch. Really doing a good job working together, back the cage, step up, spot. Really nice rip. Wow. They're giving them just so much room to have these nice, clean shots to really crank back, step and shoot. They're finding it every time. So Cohen with a goal and an assist. The Buckeyes from the faceoff, though, get it done. So they now have a 7 6 advantage, but they're down five and kind of a careless pass there. Picked back up by Ohio State. It'll go to Walland. That kind of quick pass. Lucky to keep it on their end, though. Seeing if they can get a little bit of momentum here. Approaching eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining here in the first half. And there, Ohio State looks a lot sharper as they get the goal from number 19, Kyle Borda, the grad student from Kensington, Maryland. There you go. I mean, if they're going to pressure you out like that, everyone's got speed right now. So set up your top Dodgers and let them work the 1v1. Right there, kick it off to the wing. Nice jab set outside. Nice rip left. Just kept that momentum going right to cage. Give the pull. Nice use that core across your body. So it's 8-4 as Borland scores. 21st goal of the season. Ohio State goal scored by number nine. And hustling for it, Ohio State will win the faceoff again. As that time it was scooped up by Matthew Fritz, the sophomore from Pennsylvania. Here they come through Ohio State. You want to keep those momentum. Nice finish. Get back to the faceoff. So you can string some plays together. Start shifting the energy here a little bit. Yeah, you need to. It's got to be about runs right now if you're the Buckeyes. It's time to get on a run here. Score. Get it from the X. They did. Oh, and now a turnover. Come back to Michigan. Oh. Now it looks like they. Offsetting fouls here. Looks like a card coming to number 24, Oliver Meyer. Son of Rick Meyer, the great quarterback at Notre Dame. Played in the NFL for quite some time. Might have been the number one pick in the draft even. Big time quarterback. There you go. Now the Buckeyes have another hand up opportunity right here. It's being patient, keeping it hot, make them shift, make them react to things. Just find the opening. Trying to run into it is Myers denied there by Carr again. Carr really seeing the ball well. 
and then number 41. I mean, he is on fire in this game. Yes, yeah, that was a good rip by Myers. Just using that size, pulling back, just letting it rip. Myers tries it again. Getting some touches, getting good looks. Just over seven minutes remaining. Michigan led after one, six to three. They have outscored Ohio State in the second, two to one. The score's eight, four Wolverines. But right now, they've been on defense for quite some time. And they've also been a player down there for a while. That shot again by Myers. That's three in a row. He's letting him rip. <laughs> He's like, they'll fall eventually. Just keep shooting. Carr's feeling good, though, Taylor. Yeah, he's in the zone right now. He's really stepping up. Pick back up, quick shot, and again denied. Boy, I feel like Carr's really seeing. He knows when to go low, he knows when to stay high, he knows when to just stay in the exact spot where he is. Everything he's doing right now with his feet, with his stick, protecting the near side, I mean, right on cue. I mean, he's just playing a very technically sound game. That's what you want. You know, if you're going to get it by him, you really got to make him bite. You got to throw a little fake in there, make him react to something. And right now, he's just reading it very directly from their stick. Bringing it back into Michigan's attacking end. They've been so good behind working their two man game below this afternoon. Been able to kick it wide to their wings. Big Ten men's lacrosse tournament quarterfinal action. Michigan and Ohio State. Running it back again. Just a week ago, Michigan winning. And they've got the lead here. Van Buren with the push. Michigan stays with it, bouncing around. And now finally we've got a whistle here. Uh, I think a timeout actually during all of that bump around. And Michigan thought there was penalty there they'll call a timeout with a four goal lead it's eight to four and I'll tell you what the variety of goal scores but then for me Sheen Carr has just been outstanding in the cage for the Wolverines I mean he really has I mean I was seeing it all afternoon but just really being a leader out there for his defensive end the communication and this types of stops I mean he's making point blank saves right now really not even reacting to much just staying his presence staying his ground and really getting those third, second chance opportunities. That's tough to do when they're coming right at you. You know, right there, he thought he had his defender faked out. Carr was ready for it. He knew it was coming his way. But again, I give hats off to their defensive end, giving him the shots he needs to make those big saves, really forcing them to the outside. High pressure. It's a very athletic group for the Wolverines on the defensive end. What a great package that was put together by our outstanding Big Ten Network and Big Ten Plus crew. I'll tell you what, he was dialed in on every one of those shots. He was. I was trying to keep up with the package. I was like, <laughs> I forgot about a couple of those saves. They were so good. Well, they had a ton in the first quarter and then a ton in the second quarter. He's got eight saves already. It's hard to keep up. A phenomenal start. And this is, despite the fact Ohio State has been able to deal with the fact that the Wolverines boast the top face-off duel in the nation as the period of graduate student Nick Roulette and junior Justin Wheatfeld combined to make up the nation's number three face-off unit. However, Ohio State has the advantage, eight out of 14, but it doesn't matter because number 41 is standing on his head. Phenomenal job in the cage. And now he gets to watch Michigan on offense with 530 remaining here in the second. Michigan with two goals from Clay, one from Bame, a goal and assist from Zawada, a goal and two assists from Thompson, a goal from Jackson, a goal from Aronson, a goal and assist from Cohen. Those are the eight goals and five assists. Knocked to the ground is Michigan. The ball is loose. That was a good crash by the Buckeyes, though, because Clay was wide open down low. But Buckeyes able to get that kind of second slide in there, get that ground ball. Good crash. Marcus Hudgens literally just lifted up 
a Michigan player <laughs> on that back line there. Hudgens listed at 6'1", 215, the Syracuse native who spent some time with Army as well as they'll get the ball to Kyle Borda. Myers with two, go ahead. No, I'm staying out of his way <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> if I'm around him. <laughs> yeah. Van Buren is also a force for the Buckeyes. Myers with two goals, Borda with one, Caputo with one, four goals and one assist. Camille's got the assist. Here's Ohio State trying to walk in on Carr. Carr rips the stick right away from Ed Sheen. Right idea by the book, guys. I, I like that dodge. You know, took it under, but again, it was a little bit of a hard angle. But Carr was right there. But I thought that was a good dodge. It was a great dodge, but Carr is basically saying, bring whatever you want. I'm just going to take everything from you, even your stick. <laughs> right. He's setting up shop in his house, not up in here. He is setting up <laughs> not shop. Not up in here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's so hot, you almost wonder if he doesn't even want the halftime whistle. Just staying in the zone. I mean, that package that, like you said, we just saw, I mean, that is straight in the zone, Taylor. And a finish as Wallen, unfortunately, not in the zone for the Buckeyes as the finish coming from Thompson. And Michigan with a five-goal lead in the crowd here at this beautiful facility, absolutely loving it. Thompson with a little swag sauce right there. Flashing his jersey, he's ready. He's like, you can put three defenders on me. I'm still going to take it to the cage every time. Really nice finish. Good handle. It's fired up. Nice dodge. Gets by, blows by that first defender. Just keeps the momentum going. Wow, that was a clean, that was clean nice. pick, right? Yeah. Wow. Just a beautiful job coming there from Roulette. Man, that's, that's, I mean, that's a pick right there. Good face off. That's why he's the best. <laughs> that's why he's one of the best. Yeah. What he does. Well, and the fact that they can have two that he can, basically the way I understand it is like three and three, three on, you know, and they, both of them are great. That was outstanding. I mean, they don't get the name two-headed monster <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> They're a threat every single time they take a face off trying to get to double digit goals here in the first half and a little flick from behind was Bain and finish for Michigan so Michigan makes it 10 to 4 I think it was Clay will confirm it no who do you think it was they're having they fun were on in the it. bench they are they're getting everybody involved yeah it was number 15 Jacob Jackson Jackson with the goal like I said, they're moving the ball so well. Even like what if a missed opportunity, they pick it up there right there, find him. Jackson able just to have a nice little step inside, shoot nice and low. Wallen Wall had it for a yeah, moment. He almost had it. He's frustrated by that one. Almost clipped it. So Coach Myers wants to talk about it as seven different goal scores on the 10 goals, five assisted goals, and it doesn't hurt that the Michigan faithful are watching Carr put on a clinic with eight saves to go with these seven different goal scores. That's what you need to see in a game like this. Everybody's got the hot hand, getting everybody involved. Like I said, I know I sound like a broken record at this point, but they are moving it so well, and that's where they're able to find these clean, nice shots, spot shooting inside hitting the cutters really handling that pressure well and have just set such a high shooting percentage right now 16 shots 10 of them on goal all 10 that have been on goal have gone in the cage that is solid and coach Myers and the Buckeyes need to figure some things out here yeah, they came out with a nice hot hand really in the first quarter. You know, you could feel, you could sense the energy on the field. Momentum was high, but it fallen a little flat here, you know, in the back end of the first quarter. And now pretty much the second quarter been pretty flat. Well, it means so much to be able to play at home as well. You see the crowd here for Coach Connery and the Michigan Wolverines. Doesn't look like there's really any seats open. There's a few. As I mentioned, scarlet clad Buckeye fans here, but it's 90% Wolverines for sure. Yeah, and just, you know, what a great feel for the program, you know, coming off of two games where they sold out, 
the stadium. You know, people are really getting involved and just kudos to the growth of the game, especially in a, you know, a non-traditional state like Michigan for lacrosse. A little sloppy right there. Ohio State had it for a moment, but as Cullen Brown raised his stick, the ball is released, and Michigan has it again with 2.30 remaining and a six-goal lead. They got the momentum right now. We always talk about the game of runs, and Michigan has done a really good job of staying at this same pace, same level of play for the past two quarters. I mean, Mulholland with talk an about unbelievable it. feed to Bame. I mean, Mulholland just came off the bench and ran straight downhill, drew a player, and then you're going to find Bame, and Bame coming off that eight-goal performance. Bame now has two goals, and Michigan is crushing the Buckeyes 11-4. to four. Everybody's got the fire right now. He's coming in, dodging hard, but boom, able to find that cross, crease pass. Game wide open, just ready for it. Quick little release. Catch release. Thompson's got two. Clay has two. Bame has two. And it's 11 for Michigan with a little over two minutes. The Buckeyes need to pick up this ground ball, and they do. Yeah, stop the bleeding a little bit here. So that was a big face off for them to get. Seeing if they can tie some things together before heading into halftime. Michigan goals scored by number five. Mike All right, so now they've got the ball, and Taylor, you have seen your team. I know you're a defender, but you and so you played in front of hot goalies. You've also witnessed your team deal with hot goalies. The Buckeyes got to be. Oh, there they go. Okay, that's one way. I don't care how hot you are, as I can sizzle by you and Matt Caputo has another one for the Buckeyes, his second of the game. And Captain Obvious, the Buckeyes needed that from Caputo. Right, I mean, before he even shot that, I was gonna say, you know, there's nothing to worry about. You just have to keep shooting. You know, get the ball, they know how to finish. Again, they came out so hot in the first quarter, but able to use his speed, and he's lightning right there. Getting that inside right shoulder in, have a quick step, nice release, good whip. 14th of the season for Caputo. The Buckeyes five and eight, one and four in the Big Ten. Michigan six and six, two and three. That second win coming a week ago against the Buckeyes, earning them the home field here. This pass there again. Buckeyes coming screaming down the field, seeking to put some pieces of the puzzle together again. Keep chipping away. If they can go into the locker room with goals five and six and cut the lead to five, as I think they want to talk about it here. Good timeout. Good call. Eleven to five. So earlier, Hannah Nielsen and the Michigan Wolverines with a big win over Penn State to advance to the semifinals. I mean, the Wolverines, they were on fire. Kaylee Dyer had an afternoon with her group. You had a lot of hot hands right there. The defensive unit was really playing well together, but it's just the Wolverines were a little bit too much. Dyer coming in with a nice rocker step, hitting high. Jill Smith doing what she does best, a nice little roll dodge inside. But again, the defense trying to stick together. Missed right there by Santa Maria. But again, Garvey was so good, finding the back of the cage, cutting through the eight meters. They were really a good team effort, team win for Michigan this afternoon. Hey, what do you get? I just won. Well, you faced the number one team in the country, Northwestern, <laughs> on Thursday night on the Big Ten Network. It's going to be a good game. Good lacrosse right there. Big rivalry. All right, I like what you said about this timeout for Ohio State. 67 seconds remaining in the first half. They had just scored Taylor as Michigan was rolling. Carr's been hot, of course, but they got one by Carr. They can get another one here. I mean, they might even try to get one early and try to get back to that X and, and win it again. We'll see. I think they're probably going to play for the last shot, though. All right, you want to go into halftime with a little steam. You want to find the back of the cage, get people involved, and this is a good way to start climbing out. You know, good energy going into the second half, two more quarters to play. But right now you want to set a tone, you know, that you're getting after it.
Good defense from Michigan picked back up by Ohio State. Myers had an opening. Well that's a tight pass shot. Not on cage backed up by Ohio State they still have time. 22 seconds here to score. Myers sometimes can do it all by himself. Caputo did well to keep that one alive. Caputo. Stepping in. Oh, that's smoke. That is really well done by the Buckeyes. Kyle Lewis, the grad student, transferred from Lynchburg. And it's 11 6. The Buckeyes with back to back goals to cut into that seven goal lead. Now it's just a lead of five for Michigan. Like I said, that was a big timeout, you know, getting into it, move the ball well. Hey, let's give it to our best spot shooter. Boom, put him up top. Really nice rip. Have some space, get those hands free. Let it rip. Fourth goal of the season for Lewis. Colby Smith with the nice dish. And it's 11 to 6 as the Buckeyes 26 shots. That's seven more than Michigan's had. Michigan wins the faceoff. They now have an advantage of 10 to 9 from the faceoff as it'll be turned back over, though, in the final seconds, and that'll be it. Quick thought here Michigan had a lead of seven. They lead it at the half, 11 to 6 over the Buckeyes. Yeah, strong first two quarters by Michigan. I mean, I think that if you anything, you look back at that, that was a really good team effort. You know, getting a lot of people involved. I think the defense played really well, high pressure. But if I'm Ohio State, you're right in this thing. I think that was a really big goal to end the second quarter. But again, you know, the goals will start to fall, but you got to keep shooting. But right now, the Wolverines have the upper hand. Carr's been awesome. Uh, meanwhile, Michigan has seen Bain, Thompson, Clay, Jackson with two. They lead at 11 6.
Welcome back to our coverage on Big Ten Plus at the Big Ten Men's Lacrosse Tournament quarterfinal in Ann Arbor. The Wolverines with an 11-6 lead. Ohio State did score the last two goals. Dean Linky along with Taylor Thornton. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. I mean, the first half was just really Michigan coming out strong, really working together. They moved the ball so well, you heard us saying. But Ohio State came out well as, you know, from the beginning, good. They had a nice spot shooting at the top, but this Michigan defense was able to pick up really, really well. Again, really nice reflection right there, able to get it back for his team. But we're coming around, able to find people up top, down low, moving the ball, finding the back of the cage, almost making it look easy for the Wolverines right now. Passing, connecting, really excellent team effort. You know, Ohio State's going to really need some big time players, people to step up, start making some shots. But right now, Michigan is on a real runaway train that Ohio State needs to slow down. The Buckeyes did get the last two goals to cut it to five. It was 11 to four. You see the faceoffs. Michigan now with the advantage just by one. Shots on goal fairly even, ground balls fairly even, cause turnovers fairly even. But I got to tell you, it has been the eight saves for Carr that has been part of the difference and a big reason why Michigan is up by five. Right. Ohio State is playing a good game. I mean, if you're looking at the statistics right there, you know, wanting to face face offs into a 50 50 battle, and they've been able to do that, but, you know, they're just not finding the back of the net because, like you said, Carr has been a really good anchor back there. But, you know, keep shooting. They'll fall. All right. So here we go. Start of the third for a chance to take on the number one seed, Penn State Nittany Lions in the semifinals of the Big Ten Men's Lacrosse Tournament, bringing you quarterfinal action on Big Ten Plus. It's our second call of the day. When I say our Taylor Thornton. Four-time All-American, Torotown runner-up, two-time national champion at Northwestern Women's Lacrosse, who was the number one team in the country. And they'll face the Michigan women, who won right here in the game that we called as they knocked off Penn State earlier today. That game at noon Eastern. This one started around 3.30. Here we go. Michigan winning the faceoff. No change in the cage for the Buckeyes as Skylar Wallen with one save and it's not going to stop that one either. And Michigan has scored again. Zawada. That's what you want coming out of halftime. Do what you do best, get the face off, get into your hands, one of your best sharpshooters. Moving the ball really well, nice swing. Takes it up tight, nice pick right there. Good screen, able to open up his hands. Good rip. Wow, how did he get that in there? Around the knee of Wallen and sliding in near post right there. 12-6. I'm starting to feel bad for Wallen right now. Is yeah, you know, sometimes you have those days, but again, you know, it, you, when you've got sharp shooters like that coming at you, it's hard to make a stop, but gotta have next play mentality, keep in it. You know, can't hang your head. He's gotta keep fighting, keep grinding. Ohio State with 26 shots, 14 on goal, but just one save. Michigan, 20 shots, 13 on goal. And they've seen Carr make eight saves. They've won the faceoff again, now have an advantage of 12-9 from the X. Good D right there by the Buckeyes, really hanging strong. Good help slide down low. Keeping that ball outside. But good passing, there's Wallen. There he is. He saw it the entire time that time, Taylor. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, you got to stay in it. Next one all night. All right, so second save of the game for Wallen. Tripped it there. See if the Buckeyes can hold on to it. There you go. They give it to Wallen behind the cage, and he'll start the clear. The Buckeyes really aren't sliding much. You know, they're really taking these one-on-one -on -one men opportunities, which is great. You know, Michigan's kind of taking advantage of using their speed, but they're a little late. They kind of send someone just to kind of slow the ball down. Maybe put a little more pressure on that ball shooter. Speaking of pressure, not much pressure on any of the clears. The Buckeyes are a perfect nine for nine. Michigan, a perfect eight for eight. Possession is king. Make sure they really take care of it. 
valuing every opportunity that they have. Hopefully they can find the back of the net here. It's number 43, McGee. He'll give it up. Another Texas native, <laughs> McGee, love to see it. Jack Myers, Carr. Carr sacrifices his body and gets a shoulder check on Myers, which helps the clear. It's that kind of game for number 41 for the Michigan Wolverines. There's a bit of a tough angle right there. Probably the best shot. Michigan led after one, six to three. They led after two, 11 to six, and they've scored one already here in the third. Little behind the back shot there from Bonomi. Nice pick there, rolling off it. Uh, a little give and go. Held on to it. Bain coming off that career high eight goals a week ago against the Buckeyes. Right here at the Michigan Lacrosse Stadium. Running downhills, Cohen. Cohen pushed from behind. Stays with it. Cohen. Good pass. Zawada. And good save there. Skylar Wallen starting to come to life here for the Buckeyes, wearing that number one for the Scarlet and Gray. Yeah, they're playing really well together, very selfless on Michigan's end. You know, running a two-man, trying to roll off it if it's not there, kicking it wide, really getting some nice looks, nice shots, good opportunities. Buckeye sent two behind the cage to defend Zawada. Good D right there with the Buckeyes, keeping them outside, really staying nice and low. Physical, putting a lot of pressure, trying to get up in their hands. Clay, good pass to Cohen. And a shot from distance from Bonomi. Jake Bonomi, number two. The this, this senior out of St. Anthony's High School in New York, which has produced a lot of big time athletes. Yeah, they have an excellent program, both sides, men and women. Turn around, shot. And defended again there by Wallen. So Wallen now with a couple saves here in the early doors of the second half after having only won the entire first half. Told you, just got to get in a rhythm. Keep playing, keep fighting. There's four quarters for a reason. If your first two aren't great, here we go. Next opportunity, three and four. That's four turnovers for the Buckeyes. Michigan has actually turned it over more. But when you're down six, Ohio State needs to take better care of the ball. Right, every possession is pretty important at this point. Not that it never isn't, but especially right now, being down six, you kind of want to eliminate those careless errors. See if they find Bain. Bain with two goals already on five shots. Coming off that single game record, eight goal performance. Now with it is Borda. Borda's got one of the six goals. Myers has two. Caputo has two. Lewis has one for Ohio State, who also has two assists to the Buckeyes. One assist for Smith and one assist for Camille. And that one's going to bounce in right in front of the crease right there, but outside the line, bouncing it in with some contact. Good work there by Pelkey, number 25. Yeah, that was a good set by the Buckeyes. Good tempo, good pace, keeping it hot, recognizing down low, just posted up shop there. Really good composure. You can see that slide coming to him, but he didn't stop his feet, kept moving, gives some nice fakes, found the back of the net. Really good effort right there. Most people would just catch that and try to shoot it, but he kept moving, kept getting a little pump fake, gives something for the goalie to react to. Finished. Yeah, he, I tell you what, he, ran onto the field with some energy. Not as much energy running off the field. He was banged up right there. Did good, really well with his feet though. Did not step into the crease. And despite all of the contact, unforced air here for the Buckeyes, Pelkey gets the goal. Hopefully he's okay. Didn't look too great running off the field there, yeah. did he? 
Looked like he was holding his back there. That's a tough turnover right there by the Buckeyes. Had an opportunity to get to go the other way. Just a nice pass. It was, the lead was five and a half, and the lead is five now, and that's because Walland has played so much better in the second half for the Buckeyes. The goalie for Ohio State, Skyler Walland. What did I tell you? I was like, we got a whole nother half to play. We got three, two more quarters. He's in this. Yeah, you nailed it. I have amnesia. It's like, oh, maybe the first two didn't go my way. Three and four, here I come. Goldfish time. Got to have some resilience. Bad pass, though, picked up anyway by Caputo. Six thirty remaining in the third. The Big Ten quarterfinals on Big Ten Plus. Michigan Lacrosse Stadium, home to the men's and women's lacrosse programs. Both relatively new programs. Always good to be in Ann Arbor, Michigan, on campus of the University of Michigan Wolverines as I mentioned in that women's game, great time to be a Michigan Wolverine. Not a lot of their sports teams are winning Big Ten titles, a lot of their Olympic sports teams. I just love this Michigan defense. They're so athletic. Oh. I love being able to have locked down one on one, push them out far. Good crash right there. It was a good look by the Buckeyes, but kind of a missed slide there by the Michigan. But able to pick it back up, get going the other way. Did Carr get the save there, Taylor, or was it a defender in front defender. of him? Defender. Okay. Yeah, just a good D set right there. Been playing lights out all night. All right, so the lead is five. Michigan with five players with two goals. So really good balance on this Michigan team. We beat Ohio State last weekend and lead them by five here with five minutes remaining in the third. Sidewinder and Wallen read that one again. Now Wallen every bit as good as Carr was in the first half. He is showing that same quality in the second, keeping the Buckeyes in it. Yeah, finding a rhythm, that's what you want. Again, just piece good plays together. Get a good stop, transition it, get it over to your attacking end. Start finding the back of the net. Long pole, Hudgens takes the shot. Handled the clear all by himself with some contact and found himself in a rare opportunity to take a shot. I like it. Why not? You know, make the stop, take it down yourself, shoot. Well, he along with Van Buren, if I'm Ryan Day, the head football coach for the Buckeyes, I'm looking at these two. They are studs. <laughs> they can do it all. Tremendous athletes. Opportunity here, using the picks really well, trying to find something on the crease, but again. Allen, good pass tonight by Carr. Read it the entire way as Sheen. Sheen trying to get things going. Still has no points in this one. Not the best shot from Jack Myers, and let's see if they're going to give it to the Buckeyes. Yeah, they're not. saw the cage there. You know, pretty late turn, not the best shot opportunity. So Carr is going to get it back to help on the clear, number 41. He's got 11 saves in the game. Wallen, five saves, four here in the third. And really, without Wallen, it could easily be 16 to 7. I mean, there are four quality saves. He's going to need another one here as Michigan sets up. The attack, you see the shot clock, 43 seconds. Zawada, the all-time points leader in the history of Michigan lacrosse. Zawada read perfectly there by Wallen. Boy, what a difference a half makes for number one. Talk about it, completely different presence and energy back there for the Buckeyes in a time when they need it. Ohio State with the clear, 13 of 15 on the clear. Michigan still a perfect 11 
for Levin on clears. Working our way down to 2.30 left here in the third. Ohio State with yet another opportunity to cut into that five goal lead. I like this for the Buckeyes. They're starting up top, getting some speed going, seeing if they can kick it, get a rip. But again, I think Michigan's doing a little bit better job on their attacking and it moving the ball just a little bit quicker. But, you know, Ohio State's just got to keep chipping away here. Nice pick there down low, seeing if he can get inside. Myers, stick check, clean back up by Ohio State's Kyle Lewis. Two minutes remaining. Long distance shot, read all the way by Carr. That almost looked too easy for Carr. Uh, he read that pretty much all day. Didn't even really have to move. So Michigan remains perfect 12 for 12 now on clears. And they've got 12 goals. We've only seen two goals in the third, one for each team. 11-6 at the half, 12-7 now with 90 seconds remaining in the third. Yeah, much different energy. It's kind of second half here. A little bit slower, more methodical. But again, I, to your point, I think Willen just really has stepped up in cage, making some saves. They're not falling as easily. Good pressure by the Buckeyes. Really holding down low, keeping them on the outside, not letting them get in. It's tough to do. Not even really seeing slides, just really locked down one on one D. See the long pole of Hudgens defensively. And the shot from Michigan not backed up, so. Oh, it was backed up, my bad. Stays down this way. Oh, no, you're right. Let's go the other way. All right, they've got time here. Wallen, who's had a great third quarter, will help with the clear. He's got it now. Wallen. Good passes as it finds Allen. Allen wants it back, so Allen's got it. 15 seconds. Allen might try to do it himself here. Allen will spin back, tough angle. They'll go behind the cage. Final seconds here of the third. Five seconds. Good check by Michigan. Pass bouncing, and Carr was ready. The shot coming from Kobe Smith. And after Michigan had six in the first, five in the second, both teams, the Buckeyes and the Wolverines, with just one in the third, we played three in the Big Ten quarterfinal in Ann Arbor with a chance to play the number one seed, Penn State Nittany Lions in the semis. And it's Michigan 12, Ohio State 7. As I mentioned, just one goal apiece for each of these teams here in the third. Zawada got one by, and then the Buckeyes got one back. We played three. It's 12-7 Michigan.
Start of the fourth quarter here with a shot at the semifinals of the Big Ten men's lacrosse tournament. It's quarterfinal here on Big Ten Plus alongside Taylor Thornton. I'm Dean Linky. Ohio State led by Coach Myers. Finds his team down five, but defensively both teams are strong there in the third. It's back to the faceoffs they go. Michigan with a 12-10 advantage to start the fourth. Michigan now picks it up 13 to 10. Quick pass. Couple quick passes and just missing on the shot. Boy, shot out of a cannon here to start the fourth for Michigan. And just missing on the shot there is number 40, Cohen. You read my mind. I was going to say the same thing. I'm like, wow, they like shot out of a cannon from the faceoff right to the shot. Just a spark of energy. Really fun to watch. Great effort by the Wolverines. So Michigan now with a 13-10 advantage. Quarterfinal action of the Big Ten men's lacrosse tournament on Big Ten Plus. Michigan and Ohio State. Doesn't matter the sport. Doesn't matter the record. The rivalry is a special one. One of the best ones in college sports indeed. Look at the hustle there. Yeah, tough angled shot, but really good hustle by Michigan. Keep it on their end. Another opportunity to get to cage. Bame had it. Bame was looking to make a screen for Zawada to come to his right. He likes to go to his left. And there was no backstop, so the Buckeyes will take it. Yeah, Michigan does a great job of really setting screens for the ball handler. That really allows them the opportunity to get some space, get their hands open. That's why they've been so dominant at shooting their spots tonight. Really well done, and if it's not there, they usually kick it off to a nice two-man play, but they've done an excellent job at that and have really had some good opportunities so far. All right, so Ohio State down five. We have seen just two goals here in the second half. One for each team. Carr, brilliant in the cage for Michigan in the first half. Wallen, brilliant for the Buckeyes in the second. Really good defense right there. Good body positioning, staying low the whole time. Really following his hips, not getting faked out by the stick. Wow, the stick broke right there, and a penalty coming in for Caputo. I don't know if I've seen that. It just it snapped. Yeah, right now I was like, "Whoa!" Going the other way, another opportunity for Michigan. Trent DeChico wearing number 18 comes on for the Buckeyes. That's number 22, Isaac Aronson, coming on for Michigan. Michigan. 12 goals from seven different players. Bame, Zawada, Thompson, Clay, and Jackson, each with two. Aronson and Cohen, each with one. 12 goals have had seven helpers as Thompson and Clay have two assists to go with their two goals. Zawada also has an assist. Mahollen with an assist. Cohen with an assist. Type of stats you like to see. <laughs> Aronson. So Michigan with the five goal lead, keeps it low. Good work defensively by Ohio State. Johnny Cool, number 20. You can see right here coming up behind him. Slash underneath, but just ends up breaking the stick. Well, that's a new one for me. I don't think I've ever seen that. So tell me about that. So did you bring multiple sticks when you played? Of course. Yeah, yeah. they both do. Yeah, both the men's and women's side. You always have a backup stick. Yeah. We would absolutely have to run if you didn't bring your backup stick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. you always have two or three for sure. Caputo's going to need it now. <laughs> He broke the stick off the leg. It wasn't yeah, off the stick. Right. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> oh, my. 
just way too close there for Ryan Cohen. And as good as Wallen has been, I don't know if there's a goalie in the world that can stop that, where he could walk right into it and absolutely scorched it. Yeah, no way. That was a thing of beauty. You know, once we get that replay right there, I mean, just perfection. You know, that's the spot he likes. Kick it up top. He's asking for it. Step release. I mean, it's just textbook right there. It's too good. Open hands, free lane. Nice little whip up top. Too good. Yeah, just a second late there on the close for Zupacic, number 11. As Steven Zupacic, the senior from Rocksville, New York, has stepped late and pretty much left Skylar Wallen all alone. And man, that one had some heat. 13 yeah. to 7. As I say, extra sauce on that one. Spicy. <laughs> Spicy indeed, <laughs> and extra. All of the, all of the all above, of Taylor. All the goods. <laughs> Taking a look at the stat line, both these teams have shot it a lot. The Buckeyes with 35 shots, Michigan with 36 shots. Carr with 12 saves in the game, though. Wallen with seven, six coming here in the second half. And Wallen getting ready for what looks like another shot. Oh, good job by the Buckeyes to knock it out of there. See if Michigan can win it back. Wallen will clean it up. Tremendous work by Bobby Van Buren, the sophomore from Wingate, North Carolina, and Wide Plains Academy. Yeah, great stop. Good opportunity for the Buckeyes. Get it down, see if they can find their own rhythm. And we'll switch out here at the box, get some new lines coming in. with it up top. Nice dump. Way to draw that activity. Find down low. Good there extra go. pass. And yeah. then the finish well done by Ohio State with the extra pass. The finish coming from Kyle Lewis, the Lynchburg transfer. Lewis has scored for the Buckeyes. His second goal. And the lead is five again. Yeah, I really started up top with Borda. You know, able to draw all the defense kind of on that right side, able to kick it over to left. Nice extra pass down low, but he draws the attention of the defenders and he's left wide open, able for Lewis to finish there. Good team effort. Second of the game, fifth of the season for Lewis. And it's now 13 to eight. As again, we've only seen four goals in the second half, two for each team. One for each team in the third and now one for each team here in the fourth with plenty of time left, 9.35 remaining in the game. You win and you face the number one seed, Penn State Nittany Lions. See if they can put two good ones together here. They find their best opportunities. Ball stay hot. Everyone's kind of rolling up a little bit higher. See if they can work the crease, give a little space. There you go. Backed up by Ohio State, chasing it down is Ed Sheen. This Buckeyes roster has three fifth-year and one sixth-year senior who elected to come back and run it back because of the COVID rule. We're seeing 25 and 26-year-old college athletes now <laughs> because of COVID. Never leaving. Another victory lap. All right, mountain of time, but you're starting to get to that point where Michigan, if they can knock off some time here, but also score here, get it back to a six goal lead. Basically, they're just matchy matchy on goals here in the second half. And you feel like they can start to put the Buckeyes on ice here. And there it is. So a great run by Cohen keeps it low five hole and it's 14 eight Michigan on top. All right, I think what just makes Michigan so special is all of their attackers do an excellent job of engaging their defenders. They have really good, quick first steps. Speed is so dominant. I mean, he's just running by people. And at this point, when he gets that type of lane, able to just finish nice and low. Really good, quick shot. 
But I mean, if they're going to pressure you out like that, run by all day long. They're really, really quick and have a nice first step. Truly all of them, but well done by Cohen. Back to the faceoff we go, where Michigan has started to take control of that. Michigan goal, scored by number 40, Ryan Cohen. Ground ball picked up by Ohio State, that's Trent DeChico. Yeah, big ground ball. It's crappy inside. All right, you can see Coach Myers setting the play. Nick Myers, 15th year, leading Ohio State. Yeah, the Buckeyes, now's the time to kind of step on the gas. Not Number sure eight. if that was Carr or the cage right there. Either way, Michigan will take it. <laughs> right. Either way, not a goal, going back the other way. Look at Michigan, perfect 15 for 15 on the clears. Panomi's done a great job on the clears this entire afternoon. Very poised, he has good speed. Makes it look easy. Ohio State defensively, they have caused five turnovers. Michigan has caused three. But Michigan just with such great balance, those five players with two goals, one with three and Cohen. Good crash there by the Buckeyes. It's all a little nice inside spin move there. Spin move Clay. coming from Clay, yep. The lead is six as Michigan has outscored Ohio State three to two in the second half. Okay. There's the water up top, using his speed, seeing what he does with it here. Going inside. Mispass. Zawada, kind of a no look to Clay. Clay did not see it, and it's picked up by Hudgens. So Hudgens will find last year's Big Ten Freshman of the Year, Bobby Van Buren, as Ohio State now 17 of 19 on clears. But now the clock starts to become a little bit of the enemy of Ohio State here, under six minutes remaining. Yeah, you got to start moving. I know I kind of said that earlier, but at this point, when you're getting to five, down six, you got to go. Ohio State started the season with three straight wins as they beat Air Force Cleveland State and number 19 North Carolina as they were facing their former coach and Joe Bresci, the leader of the Tar Heels. They beat North Carolina eight to five, feeling pretty good about themselves. But they played a tough schedule, lost to number one Virginia, number three Cornell, number two Notre Dame. That was three straight games against one, three, and two. That is brutal. That is not brutal. A tremendous finish right there on the spin from number 31, Matt Caputo, as Caputo now has a hat trick. That was a great goal. Right. I mean, again, to be so young, just a freshman, Caputo have that type of poise, able to handle the pressure, really good stick work right there. And just kind of taking it on his own. Nice little rocker step in. Good stick work, comes back out, draws the defenders, and has the wherewithal just to keep ripping. Oof. Really great job. Nice shot. Yeah, you said it. A first-year player out of Lutheran High School, Westbury, New York, has cut the lead back to five, and this is what you do. You score, you win the face-off, you score again. That is two goals in about five seconds or so, and Ohio State has cut the lead to four. You talk about a clean sweep and finish right there from Matthew Fritz, and it's 14 to 10. They turned it on. We were just saying it a couple minutes ago. Now is the time. But again, get off the face off. Get that. He's like, hey, let me just take it myself. Screaming down the field. Shot. Good little bounce step. Good quick release, too. Coach is fired up right there on Ohio State. He's getting into it. Back to the faceoff we go. First goal of the season for Fritz, and 
Boy, they needed it, and then he'll lose the faceoff after that. That would have been amazing if he picked it up again. He might have been thinking about doing it again. <laughs> First goal of the season, a timely one, but now Michigan has won it back. And now you got to believe Coach Conry is going to try to use most of the shot clock here. Yeah, you can see on the sideline they're putting their arms up, get big, spread out, take some time, and get into it. They're still going. Well, Holland, number 27, will finally give it up to Bain. Michael Bain. Mulholland. Good slide there up top. Clay was ready to crank, pulls it back. As we are approaching four minutes remaining in this game. Bain. He gives it up to Mulholland. Shot coming from Jackson, backed up by Bain. Jackson's going to hustle over his team up by four. Going the other way for the Buckeyes. That was all about using the clock there for Michigan, but now Ohio State, they got to move quick and hope maybe Fritz can pull off another <laughs> quick pick and score. Nice ride here. Great ride. That's Ryan Schreiber, number 11 for Michigan. Not making anything easy. I like that. Still playing hard through the end. Yeah, well, and Taylor, the, the key is with a ride like that, it takes seconds off the clock. That's what Michigan needs right. to do. Shot from distance, deflected off, and now Michigan going the other way. Yeah, Michigan's starting to feel it right now. They should. They're in the driver's seat. Under three to go. Up four. I know you've been able to put them in the back of the cage all night. Well, their fans are feeling it as well as Michigan's had back-to-back -back sellout crowds for the first time in program history coming into this one. They had 2387 on April 16th against Penn State, and then 2,000 plus against Ohio State last week, and I, I gotta believe it's three based on what we've seen in that crowd, Taylor, which is a great sign for this relatively new program to know that the community, the student body is getting behind this Michigan team that leads it by four with just 220 remaining. Truly all positives just across the board, the school for the game, you know, D1 lacrosse, it's just, you know, as the sport continues to get into more schools and more programs, it's been awesome to witness. For all of you men's lacrosse fans, Google Taylor Thornton, check her out. She <laughs> was a runner up for the Tour Time, four time All American superstar. And Taylor, really appreciate you stepping up and joining me for this men's lacrosse game. You having a good time? Absolutely. I love the game. I mean, I respect the craft, men's and women's side. I mean, we didn't have a men's team at Northwestern, but would always check out their games, do the top dogs, top players. So happy to be here. What would you do if you had to face Mr. Cohen for the Michigan Wolverines as he has looked really good? I mean, Ryan Cohen's had himself an afternoon just really posting up, planning, and shooting. Just a next level precision tonight. I mean, it's been a thing to watch, getting his team involved. Just great speed right off the jump. Hey, no one's going to stop me. I'm going right to the hole every time. Sophomore from Boca Raton, Florida. Basically saying, feed me. As you take a look at the bracket, there's Penn State, your number one seed. They await the winner of this one as it looks like it's going to be Michigan. Johns Hopkins, your number two seed, will face the winner between Maryland and Rutgers. As you see, the semifinals and final will be on the Big Ten Network. They'll be in the afternoon, and the women's lacrosse will be primetime Thursday and Saturday from Columbus, Ohio. That's where Taylor Thornton will join me. Joe Beninati, Mark Dixon will walk you through the semifinals and final of the Big Ten men's lacrosse tournament.
as Coach Myers Buckeyes down four with just two minutes remaining in this game. Michigan looking to move to seven and six on the season. The Buckeyes, if this scoreline stays, will wrap it up at five and nine. Shot there coming from Myers. Myers with two goals and one assist on 10 shots. And now Michigan can just about just hang on to it and maybe even drop it if they want to and give it back to Ohio State as the late great Chick Hearn would say for the Lakers, the Jellos jiggling on this one. <laughs> now you can see, yeah, I'm pulling the goalie out. Trying to put pressure all over the place just to see kind of last chance effort to get the ball back here. Well, just a can't keep away right now. So they're trying to trap the double, pulling the goalie out, marking the off ball. And looks like Michigan wants to talk it over here with 67 seconds remaining and a four goal lead in front of what we believe is back to back to back sellout crowds for the Michigan Wolverines in the first half. Standing on his head for Michigan, Shane Carr in the cage for Michigan. Outstanding. Mr. Brick House, brick wall setting up shop there. Mr. Carr having a night. Even on the rebounds, able to get him. Not even faked out by that fake. Really good, technically sound, holding his positioning really well. But again, his defense is giving him the shots he wants, forcing to the outside, stepping up off those off angle shots and just coming up big time. He's been such an anchor for the Wolverines tonight. Thirteen, not, yeah. Sorry. 13 <laughs> saves, yeah. Taylor. 13 saves, and he's not afraid to come out. You know, he'll get the ground ball. I like his pressure. I like his style. He had 20 against Delaware last year, did Shane Carr. Gerald Logan holds the record of 25. He cleaned six in the first, five in the second, one in the third, they've got two in the fourth. The Buckeyes have actually outscored them three to two in the fourth, but Michigan with some gamesmanship gonna run this one out and they will face Penn State in the semifinals on the Big Ten Network. A great job by the Wolverines this afternoon. I mean, talk about a team effort, start to finish, top to bottom, all the way through. Everybody was dialed, engaged the entire time. Really well executed. So Ohio State on the clear here, 20 out of 22, fighting down to the last second as a Coach Myers team always does. It'll be popped in the air. One more chance for Ohio State. Cut back shot and Carr will let that one run out and that is gonna do it. Congratulations to the Michigan Wolverines who in back-to-back -back weeks have knocked off Ohio State. On the 21st, it was 19 to 14, and today it's 14 to 10. Great job. Just great job by Michigan. Really both ways, even for the Buckeyes, kind of hanging in tight there, but Michigan just had a little bit too much punch and power tonight. They did put some time back on the clock, so I think the narrative's gonna stay the same. So it's not totally over just yet, but it's over. Right. <laughs> Got a little ahead of ourselves there. Yeah, interesting time out here, but nonetheless. It'll be Michigan facing Penn State in the semifinals. Johns Hopkins will await the winner of Rutgers and Maryland. So Carr mentioned his career high 20 saves. We'll have another chance perhaps to get 14 or the Buckeyes can score here in the final seconds. Couple quick passes, shot from distance, nope. 
Good pass and Carr was there again. And that will do it. <laughs> so this time it's for real folks. Michigan 14 to 10 over the Buckeyes and in back to back weeks have knocked off Ohio State and they now make it to the semifinals. Great efforts all around. They should be really proud of themselves. Really came out quick, came out hot and lasted all four quarters. That's what you want to see in a tournament team and a tournament game. All right, I want to thank Ryan and Carolyn and the great crew here for both of these games on Big Ten Plus. The cameramen and women giving us excellent pictures all day long as well. And I want to congratulate the Michigan Wolverines as Ohio State got that one early, but then Michigan came storming back 11 goals in the first half. As again, Ohio State scored first, but then it was a whole lot of Michigan. Carr was outstanding in goal. And at the end of the day, it's back to back weeks. The Michigan Wolverines have done it for the great Taylor Thornton from Northwestern and our entire Big Ten Plus crew. I'm Dean Linky saying congratulations to Michigan. They'll meet Penn State in the semifinals. Your final score, Michigan 14, Ohio State 10. You saw it all right here on Big Ten Plus.